Before I came to the United States, I have never heard of the modeling industry. Never seen a fashion magazine, uh, never wore makeup. This was completely a foreign endeavor on me. In 1969, there was a revolution in Somalia, and I became a refugee. I stayed in Nairobi because I wanted to attend the Nairobi University. And then one day, this white gentleman just came and started talking to me. He said, my name is Peter Beard. And then he said to me, you know, have you ever been photographed? So I kept on walking because I thought maybe he was trying to pick me up. He was, so I was very, you know, hesitant. He said, I will pay you. And I stopped and I said, well, how much? He said, well, how much do you want? I said $8,000 because that was the number for a tuition for one year at the university. And he said, okay. So we met the next day and he took pictures of me and he paid the tuition. I think they're some of the most compelling photographs that I've taken all these years. People started talking in front of me, about me, because they thought that I did not speak English. And then one day, Stephen Burroughs, black designer, invited me to come to his showroom. So I went there, you know, models were there. They started talking in front of me. Everybody said, well, she's not as beautiful as they said she is. Well, she's not as tall as they said she is. Well, do you think she's a princess or is she a good herder? Which one do you think she is? And I pretended, of course, I didn't understand what they were saying. And then, so Stephen came, gave me the dress, gave me heels, I put on the dress, and for the life of me, I could not put the heels on. And I noticed she was trembling so much. So I went over to her and, and bent down to help her foot into the shoe. And all the girls in the room, they said, oh, don't do Bethan that. Now she's going to be thinking that we have all to have to bow to her and, you know, and do this for her. And Bethan didn't pay any attention to them. And it, something told me she spoke English and looked up at her and said, you understand everything they're saying? And, and she looked at me and she said, yes. And that was our bond. And she became my closest friend from that day till today.